So, how long have you been here then? Um, I just got here today actually. Um, and I think the buildings are well shabby, don't you? I mean, oh, and another thing is the people are really weird. You've got, you got a minute and they're like seemingly really spaced out all the time. But then it's probably not their fault because it's just probably the weather or something. But I can't stand that, do you know what I mean? Like when you want to have a conversation with someone and they're just like sitting there and they don't say anything back. And you just got to think, well, everyone's just becoming really antisocial. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Hello, everyone. Hello. Good morning. God, this is like school, morning. isn't it? Hello. You know what? I, would be, I bet I'll do this homework next. Hello, Katie. It's always coming Excuse me. school, though, can it? They always tell me to be quiet at school. I think, why tell me to be quiet when, what's the point when you can just have a good old, like, chat? Katie. I'm going to have to stop you there. Oh. Because it's just a little bit rude to be talking when it's my turn to speak. Okay. It's just one of the guidelines I like to introduce to all the people here at the clinic. Okay? Yeah, yeah, fine, yeah. Hello again, everyone. Uh, I'd like to start today's meeting by introducing a new member to the group. Everyone, this is Katie. I'd like you to make her feel really welcome. I think we share a lot of love in this room, and I want you to help her share it too. This is for you. Right, Katie. I'd like you to tell us how you feel, okay? How you feel. Right, okay. Um, well, I'm quite hungry, because uh, I, I didn't really like the cornflakes here, because normally I have scrambled eggs, or, well, sausages even, because my mum always says it sort of sets you up for the day, do you know what I mean? Um, and I have to have about two cups of tea in the morning, otherwise I'm just like a zombie, and I can't even function till about lunchtime, and then I'm just like, God, give me some more caffeine that's, or something. That's good. That's good. You're starting to open up. But I think you're skirting around your real issues. I think you need... You need to focus more on your real problems. Why don't you try telling us why you're here? Well, um, I mean, I don't think... Well, I never thought that I had... A problem, what if you, you know? But um, in fact, if you ask me, I don't think I should be actually be here. Katie, you need to be more honest with yourself. The first step on the path of recovery is the acceptance of denial. You need to accept you have a problem. Well, um, it started off like purely as like a social thing, mm. you know. Um, like everyone at college was on them. You know, there was maybe some more than others. Um, but yeah, that's definitely how it started, because like, um, I was just trying to keep up with my friends, do you know what I mean? Um, and then gradually it just got like more and more, and then before I knew it, it was getting really out of hand. And, uh, and then I, well, I started um, stealing from my mum. You're doing really well, let it out. Well, then, um, then um, she, she caught me. Caught you stealing money? Yeah. It's a long road, Katie. But you have just taken the first step. I'd like us all to thank Katie for sharing herself with us. <laughs> but now, I'm going to have to ask you to take the next step. Now, I know it's a little sudden, and I'm sure it seems a little scary, but it's for your own good. Oh. It's all part of the treatment. Now I'm going to have to ask you to hand it over to me. What? My thing? What? I need for? Come on, Katie. It's for your own good. It'll be quite safe. But I need it. Katie. Well done, Katie. Well done. Sorry. I think, uh, wrong room. Cheers. See you later. Wicked. Beep.
beep. What was this? Why don't you shut up? I'm in for text message addiction. I can't speak any more. Oh, sorry. Why don't you just say so or something? James, <coughs> please. What made me decide to open a clinic for mobile phone addicts? Well, I think it was out of a genuine concern for my fellow human beings more than anything else. I mean, if you can see that something is wrong, that something is taking over the way some people live their lives and causing so much damage, then you have to do something, do you not? I don't want to sound like some sort of paranoid technophobe, but it's time we face the reality of this problem. If you look at some of the people we have here, they used to be dependent on these devices. You're not using the phone, the phone's using you, okay? It's using you. And here at this clinic, we like to offer our patients some sort of inner peace. One of our most successful little exercises is the use of these dummy phones. Basically, they are a normal phone without a SIM card. We let the patients play with these for an hour or so a day, and then they carry it around with them for the rest of the day. Of course, they can't actually make um, any phone calls for them, but, but, but that doesn't help stop them trying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to have to take this. Alexander Bell? Yep. Portable Apparatus for Communicating Dependency Rehabilitation Clinic? Um, is your name Terry? Uh, yes, I'm hello. I'm Katie. Terry, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just very, you know, rushed at the moment. Bloody... Thatcher for you. This is Thatcher's government for you. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been here then? Because um, I'm just sort of getting used to the place, do you know what I mean? Because um, it's only my first actual day here. Really? Yeah, it's all right though. It's fine. It's just I'm finding it a bit weird, like without my phone, because it's just that I'm used to talking to my friend Tim a lot, and um, it's just a sort of strange feeling not being able to, do you know what I mean? Cool, cool. I reckon my friend Tim would fit in here though, R real treat, because like, he's a bit of a phone nutter as well. Oh, it's not me. Do you know what I mean? That's and uh, mind you, I think he's a bit autistic. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but he's on. always got the time for eh? me. You know, I can ring him up whenever and he's al he always chats to me and I sort of miss that. Do you know what Come I mean? Come on, you plum lad. Sort of have to work around here, you know. I miss having a chat. Um, he wants to know my story. Um. Well, uh, you're looking at me and you're saying, well, what's a fine cut gentleman like myself uh, doing in a loony bin like this? I mean, at the first it was a novelty and we had no comparison. I mean, we had, we had no idea how much we were using. Um, I started using mine at, at work. Um, then I um, started using it at lunchtime and uh, started using... It on the way to work, and, uh, and then on the way home, and um, night time, and, uh, and then one day it, it kind of came to a head, and, uh, and, uh, and I was late for a meeting, and, uh, and um, uh, sorry, just, just a minute. Hello? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, yeah. Been waiting for the call all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just uh, doing uh, some filming. With, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just doing some. Just a minute. Uh, just doing some filming with some film bods. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Okay. You're joking. Be there in ten minutes. All right. I, I've got it. I'm sorry. I've got it. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm Uh, do you want to interview me now? Isn't that annoying for you? Because, I mean, I had a splinter once in my thumb, right? And it, like, went through from one side to the other, like, from the bottom to the top. 
and I had to have, I couldn't do any work, so I had to have like a whole week off college, which was quite cool though. Got a week off. Isn't it annoying not being able to talk? Mind you, that's probably a really stupid question, because like, even if you wanted to, you couldn't answer me anyway, could you? I think I just burst, you know, like all the words would like get stored up in my brain and start leaking through my eyes, like trying to speak themselves. Do you know what I mean? Hello, my name is James. I've been at the therapy centre for nearly three months. Alexander can be annoying at times. But I get on with the others quite well. I don't seem to have made much progress since I came here. But I do find some of the therapy quite helpful. So, James, how was your condition affecting your life before you came to the clinic? When my condition started to become more serious, it caused me some difficulty in the workplace. But did you find it hard to do your job? My colleagues didn't really understand my condition. Hello, Mother. Well um, sorry about that. As I was saying, the, uh, the main philosophy we apply here at the clinic is to, is to give the patients a sense of self-confidence in living without their mobile phones. Um, the dummy phones are, are good to a certain degree at first, but then we like to move them on to more confidence-building exercises to eventually uh, wean them off their dummies. One of my most favourite exercises is to take the entire group up to the moors. I let them wander around a bit, make them think they're lost because, of, of course, they can't phone the emergency <laughs> services. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, they have to rely on each other and it, it builds teamwork. It's, it's a character building exercise. <sighs> yeah, all right. Look, I'm sorry, you're going to have to excuse me. I, I've got to sort this out. Go on. James, right, you must know what I mean, right? It's that stuff. It's that like green foam crunchy thing, yeah, but it's not plastic, it's kind of like hard, but then soft at the same time, yeah, and you like put little holes in it to put the flowers in, and it soaks all the water up for them, but it doesn't actually get wet. Do you, can you remember what it's called? I can't remember what it's called. Oh, you know when you like think of something, and you can't put a name to it? God, I find that really annoying, do you know what I mean? Because now, I'm just going to be like thinking about it all day, and I won't be able to concentrate. Oh, what is it? What is it? It's got a name. It's got a name. Terry, do you know what that stuff's called? Huh? You know, that, like, green foam crunchy stuff. It's definitely got a name. You know, this, God, it's really bugging me. What is it? You know, the stuff they put to, to they use, they put flowers in it to stop them from dying. Oh, uh, just a minute. Uh, look, I really haven't got time for this. I'm really busy at the moment. Busy? What? Busy with what? <laughs> well, I'm very late. I've got a lot on my plate. And I haven't got time for all this chit chat. But Terry, you're not doing anything. Well, does anyone know how long this is going to last? <laughs> 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 
well put it. Well, that's it. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. We go. Oh, we start. I'm going to be late. Okay. I'm going to be late for the works. You know. I've got to go to the office. It's a meeting there. It's all right. Hey, look, well, is that really huh? suitable behaviour? Yeah. Beep. I'm sorry. I'm you have it. I want all the credit to make this call. Help of your accounts to try again. You are upsetting the other patient. Beep. You have insufficient credit. <laughs> try again. Well, it really is no need to like that. Sorry to interrupt. I'll be there. I'll be Can there. I have your attention, please? Yes, eyes to me, please. You're not going to learn anything looking at the floor. Okay. I hope you will be making progress with that, Sandra. Here. Yes, yes. But I'm afraid oh, no, I come down here in response to some rather disturbing news about the behaviour of somebody in this clinic. It seems they have taken it upon themselves to deal illicit active SIM cards to the other members of the group. Obviously, spoiling their own chances of recovery wasn't enough, so they decided to exploit the weaknesses of others for personal profit. As you know, and I can't stress this highly enough, I mean, I'm talking in capital letters here, okay? This sort of behaviour will not be tolerated. Will not be tolerated. And at the moment, I am sorry to say, I'm going to have to hold you all responsible for this. So, what I've decided to do is this. We are all going to take the minibus up to the moors for a little day trip. Moors. I'm not going to explain what we're going to be doing until we get there. But I think this is going to be a really good character building exercise for you all. A chance to develop a bit more of that self confidence. So, moral fiber, teamwork, that's the stuff. You know, you know James, film guy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the reason I'm here is because I got sent along by my boss. He recommended me to come here. Thought I had a problem, but uh, well, he, he kind of forced me in the end, really. And you bastard. Yeah, I work in this library, right? So it, it causes problems when I um. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, they say uh, they say I've got this problem with the ringtone because I got this new phone. 200 tones on, absolutely beautiful. Lovely little slimline thing. 200 tones. I mean, you couldn't ask for more, could you? And some of them, just, they just got stuck in my head. You know, what, what are you going to do? I mean, it happens, don't they? They're catchy, aren't they? They're catchy. And uh, people used to get really annoyed in the library because I used to do them just randomly. And they couldn't concentrate, you know, like library and all that. But it's just mad. I used to get really annoyed. <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you what, compared to some, there's some real bloody nutters around here. There really is real nutters. I'm not a nutter. I don't need to be here. I don't need to be here at all. You know? I mean, we're in the library, that's a rubbish job anyway, isn't it? <coughs> really. <coughs> oh, no. Weirdo. <laughs> I like being on the minibus. It vibrates. A lot. You see? When Alex took away my phone, I haven't been able to vibrate as much as I'd like to. Salted it with the salt and coffee. Yeah. These young ones, yeah. Still are one. Used to try and find out what people were thinking as well, but singing them out loud. See you turned around. That's how I learned to take Terry off. Well, you know, you can tell a lot about people from their ringtones. And Terry's is about 12 years old. Little proper old school type ringtone. Took me ages to learn it. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, Does someone have a ringtone like that? God, I've only got from the start. Well, they're going to be in therapy for life. Too much of a loon yeah, to get out of here. Frozen fruits, who's ever heard of that? Bloody arms dealers. People know my phones are bad. Ringtones are annoying and texting makes us sad. Sad. Know about sad. 
Look, are we going to do this properly or not? Yeah. Come on now, I want to hear some passion in your voices. Yeah, but I don't know any of the words. That's fine, Katie. Why don't you just try singing along with us? It's the best way to learn. As for you, Ross, if I don't start hearing some passion in your voices, I'm going to suspend your dummy phone privileges for the rest of the week. Oh, Come just, on now. Uh, 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 <coughs> mobile phones are evil. Mobile phones are evil. Mobile phones are evil. Okay, do we have uh, do we have everybody? Yep. Yeah. Would yeah, you? Yeah. Right, I'm just going oh, to be yeah. Terry. Oh, yeah. Terry. One eyes to me, please. Right, I'm just going to explain to you all what we're going to be doing today. As I have said, somebody at the clinic has been dealing SIM cards to other members, and I am not prepared to let them get away with it. So, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm here now, yeah. Rob, 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 yeah. Terry. So I have brought you up here to the mall. Now the nearest village is ten miles in that direction. So, whoever has the active phone has the choice of letting the entire group suffer a ten mile hike, or phoning the clinic and confessing their crime, at which point I'll gladly come and pick you up. And if any of you know who this person is, then I suggest you expose him now. I may even offer a reward. You know, you can't do this to us. It's bloody freezing out here. I can and I will. For those of you who are innocent, I suggest you try and look on today as an opportunity to prove your independence from mobile phones. Teamwork. Character building. And just to prove to you that I mean it, I'm going to make a little sacrifice of my own. What's he doing? I don't know. He gets like this sometimes, doesn't he? You see? Out here, we are free of the evil influences! We are free to use our voices as God intended us to! Free! There you go. We're about there. I suggest you try and enjoy today. Try and get the most out of it. What? Where did he say we were? I didn't get down. No, he was... It was... No, he didn't. It was on his page. Hold on. Everybody just to stay calm. Just to stay calm about this. Right. What's wrong with the minibus then? I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, am I? Was this part of your stupid oh. master plan to cure us all? No, there's no need to be like that, is there, Robert? Oh, oh my god, what are we gonna you? do? Um, hang on, oh. right, so whereabouts are we on here then? Yeah. We're there, we're there, we're there. Somewhere no, on Edgware Road. That is Edgware somewhere Road. Somewhere in the and we're yeah, no. we're somewhere near it'll Certainly be up rough and down. That's what you said. Uh, well, um, uh, yes, uh, well, see, possibly. Well, this map's about, well, it's about 30 years old, actually. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> it's well old. Don't know where you got it from. Yeah, hang on. Get what are you call. filming this bit for? Get it rolling. Yeah, this isn't meant to be part of the program. No, I definitely think we should carry on back the way we came. It's anyway to be certain. Yeah, but I've been scouts well, for what, nearly about a year. And you can tell which way north is by which side of the tree the moss is growing. Or is it south? No, I think it's south. But uh, anyway, no, moss always grows on the south side of the tree. What? It's the north. 
Because it likes to be in the shade away from the sun, and the sun's always going to come out. No, because as it grows, the sun's never yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got a B in biology, um, even though they made me work in the corridor because I talk too much. But um, I know about photosynthesis and all that, because uh, we did loads of work. This doesn't um, usually happen. It's just a, a spot of bad luck, you know, nothing to do but to carry boldly on. Oh, yeah. No. Yes, well, thank you so much for that piece of constructive criticism, James. Perhaps, when you figure out how to speak, you could share it with the rest of us? Hmm? <laughs> it's all a lost. MD has no idea where he's going. <laughs> I'm absolutely lost. Yes, you know. It's all the lost. Yes, it's all the lost. Absolutely. It's a I don't know where you got this MD from now. Rob, no, what are you no. doing? What? I'm uh, um, just checking my pockets for um, mice. What? Where? No, 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 it's okay. I haven't gone there. I just checked. Yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. No, well, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. I've got that. I've got one. I've got one. I've got one. I've Rob, hmm? you, you know, gay. What? No. No, no, that, that, no, that, that's just sign of affection, that is. I mean, I, uh, could interest you in a... I'm alright, thanks. Thanks anyway. Oh, okay. Um, well, if you change your mind, you know what to come to, don't you? Yeah, you tell anyone. They'll tell you to come to me. I help people out from time to time. Oh, good for you. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm a real, uh, caring... Yeah. Sharing kind of guy. <laughs> Would somebody please power, yeah. shut him up? Alex? Al? Al? Alex, can I talk to you? So I was just having to talk to him. I'm seeing him. Robert. Yeah, yeah. He's got some in his pockets, right? And I've seen, well, at least five. I saw five in his mouth. Right, right, well. right, right. Deal with you later. Yes. No, this isn't Rob. No, I'm afraid Rob can't come to the phone right now. I'm afraid he's been taken into psychiatric care. No. No idea when he'll be out. Probably never. Yes. Well, thank you. Goodbye. I'm going to recommend you for a lobotomy. Yes, hello, it's Alex from the clinic. Alexander Bell. Yes, well, the minibus has broken down. I don't know why. Can't you just send someone out with the other bus? No, I have no idea where we are. Well, can't you track the signal or something? Yes, yes, all right, okay. Bye. Next week on Immobilised, James mutters his first words. How will you just piss off? Katie gets her reward after exposing Rob as a SIM card dealer. And Rob receives his punishment. <laughs> <laughs>